attention is growing and we're right in the middle of it, actually right in the path of totality for next Monday's total solar eclipse. And for NASA, the eclipse brings an incredible opportunity to study the data and conduct experiments related to the eclipse. 19 News reporter Stephen Hernandez learned today just how NASA plans to take advantage of the opportunity. Everyone at NASA right now is taking measurements and preparing for the eclipse. Dr. B. Gallardo LaCord is ready for next Monday. The NASA scientist and her team will be conducting all sorts of trials and experiments to help better understand how eclipses and space work. So what kinds of tests? Let's start with one very long flight. We will have a plane that is going to follow the path of totality from Mexico all the way to the U.S. And if you thought that was big, how about tests with rockets? We also have some rocket launch plan from the Wallops uh, Center that are going to be three different rocket launches that are going to measure how the atmosphere changes before, during, and after the eclipse. The data on Earth in these tests will help NASA carry out missions far into the future. To predict how space weather is going to behave and also protect our missions and protect our astronauts. So you're saying the studies of the eclipse now that's going through Cleveland can help astronauts when they go to space? Absolutely, understanding the atmosphere and how it changes in Cleveland and everywhere in the world is a top, top priority. The sheer number of studies that could come out of this year's eclipse is astronomical. To have an idea, in 2017, people organized special edition in, in scientific journals that generated hundreds of new publications. But for now, Dr. Gallardo LaCourt's biggest wish is making sure everyone can enjoy it. If we get clear skies, I will say everything is good. And that's what everyone is hoping for. In Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.